What is going on everyone? It is me, Alone Vault Wanderer, here with another Fall Life 4 video. So this video is going to be about the season pass that Bethesda has revealed for Fall Life 4. I didn't make a video on this initially, but now Pete Hines has responded to some criticism about the season pass, so I think it's a good time to give my two cents. Now the article that I'm talking off of as always is linked in the description below, but I'm going to be highlighting the main points. So the article is entitled, Fallout 4 Dev Defends DLC Announcement Coming Before Games' is Release. The article starts by saying, letting fans know there is post-launch DLC in the works is a good approach, Bethesda's Pete Hines says. Last week, Bethesda announced that Fallout 4 would be getting expansion packs starting in 2016. It is not uncommon for publishers to reveal DLC before a game is out the door, but still not everyone was happy with Bethesda's move. Now the company's marketing executive has defended the timing of the reveal. Quote, I think letting folks know our thoughts on it and how it fits into our post-launch plans is a good approach. Pete Hines said to a fan on Twitter, who suggested it was irresponsible to announce DLC before a game is released. They appreciated Hines' honesty in his response. So, first of all, what do I think of the season pass plans for Fallout 4 that Bethesda has revealed? Honestly, it's, it's gotten to a stage where season passes have become ingrained in the video game industry, and whether you like season passes and whether you don't like season passes, what I always try to say is don't let bad experiences with season passes affect your your purview or your opinion of any season pass released from then on, whether it's by the same company or by a different company. Always try to look at the season pass, whatever it's called anyways. It could be called DLC, it could be called a season pass, it could be called an augment your pre-order whatever thing that, um, that Deus Ex did. But look at it in and of itself and ask yourself, is it bad value? Would you be upset if Bethesda had said, we're doing our regular DLC, you know, four or five DLC that you can purchase each for 10 to $15, and then ask yourself, if you're happy with that, if you're happy with Bethesda doing the things that they've done in the past, that they've proven themselves to do, that they have a track record of doing well with DLC in the past, then ask yourself, would you be happy or unhappy if they decide to bundle those DLC together and offer it as a season pass at a discounted price? I honestly don't see anything wrong with that. I'm not saying that season passes across the board are a good or a bad thing. What I'm saying is that you shouldn't judge a particular season pass because of bad examples of season passes in the past by other developers. You should look at Bethesda's season pass for Fallout 4 in isolation and ask, is it good for the consumer? Is Bethesda trying to extort money out of its fans? Are they doing anything wrong or immoral or unethical? And to be honest, I don't think so. I don't think they're trying to do anything underhanded. I mean, if anything, they're being open and honest about it. Bethesda is telling us that they don't know what's in store for their season pass. They don't know what's going to be created for DLC. We're concentrating on the main game is the main message that we've been receiving. They don't know exactly or specifically what they're doing for DLC. But what they are saying is that if you would like to get the season pass, you can do so now. We're not forcing you to. You can wait until the game is released, until more information about DLC is released, and then that's okay. You're not being, we're not being disadvantaged here by sitting and waiting. If the main response to the season pass, you know, announcement by Bethesda is that they shouldn't have done it now because we don't know what the season pass is going to involve. We don't know what DLC is going to be released. We don't know if $30 is good or bad value because we don't know what's going to come with the season pass. I honestly find that argument redundant because nobody's forcing you to buy this. It would be a different situation if Bethesda had said, get the season pass now and we're going to offer you exclusive content that no one else would receive at the launch of the game, even if you bought the full edition, even if you bought the special edition or whatever. That I would have a bit of an issue with. But right now, at launch, everybody is receiving the same game, whether you purchase the, the season pass or pre-order the season pass or not. So why does it matter that they're saying we are going to have a season pass for this game, we don't know what it's going to involve, 
but if you want to get it now, you can. And if you don't, you can wait for it until you know more about the DLC and know more about the season pass and therefore at that stage can make a, a more informed decision about whether you think it's good value and whether you want to purchase it. Right now, no one is being disadvantaged at all. And again, Bethesda is being open and honest. They're saying, look, our focus is always going to be at this stage, getting the game out at launch with as, you know, as seamlessly as possible with little bugs, even though that might be very difficult. But so the launch is successful. And, it, and is not riddled with bugs or other problems or issues that some other games have done in the past. And they're also being honest in the sense and saying, we don't know what we're going to do with our DLC, but buy the season pass if you want, or don't buy it if you don't want to. And I think above all is, I just want to stress that no one is forcing you, theoretically or realistically, no one is forcing you to get this season pass right now. You can get it now, you can get it a week from now, you can get it at launch, you can get it right when the first DLC is announced, and when we have more information about that and other DLC, and you're not going to be disadvantaged. It's not like we're being forced in the sense that, oh shit, I need to get the season pass because we're going to get exclusive apparel or exclusive weapons in game that no one else is going to receive because they didn't get the season pass now. That's not happening. This is for future content, this is not affecting what we're receiving at launch, so our, our pre-orders now and our full price purchases now, they retain their value. They're not going to be differentiated among different consumers. And the season pass is just going to be a package of what Bethesda usually does, but at a discount. So these are my brutally honest opinions about the whole season pass, you know, debacle that's going on. Now, some people might say I have a bias towards Bethesda. I, I do like Bethesda as a publisher. I'm not going to lie. You know, I, I, I wear my heart on my sleeve. I love Fallout. I love Bethesda. I love what they do as a developer and as a publisher. But I honestly don't see what's inherently wrong with the season pass model that Bethesda is proposing to us. Again, it would be different if they were like, yeah, we don't know what DLC we're doing. But if you get the season pass now before the game launches, you'll get uh, exclusive weapons or apparel. They're not doing that. And if they were doing that, then I might have an issue. But for now, I think they're being transparent. I think they're being honest. And I think they're offering something that is of good value. Now, whether you think the season pass model in its entirety is good for consumers, I think is a different question. I think this is one of the better examples of a season pass and the way I'd like season passes to be done moving on into the future. But if you disagree with that, then that's fine. But at the very least, is what the point that I'm trying to get across here is don't judge the validity and the genuineness of Bethesda's Fallout 4 season pass by using the examples of bad season passes in the past. That's all I'm saying. Anyways, why Sanders, I'm babbling at this point, but this has been the Lone Vault Wanderer. Please follow me on Twitch and Twitter, the links to which you can find in the description below. And until next time, please take care of yourself. And as always, keep fighting the good fight.